Hey guys, so I'm just going to do another wig review. I had three units that I wanted to go through today. Got one down. The first one was Free Tris Equal um, Silk Face Closure Tilly. The next one I have is Outre Lace Front um, with the Swiss Lace L Parting Emmy. This is the unit. I have her in a color 1B. I don't know what it is. Something about... Um, curly units sometimes or longer units I like my blondes and stuff but I really like the darker colors because I find that like the lighter colors that they they look dry like the blonde gets dried out looking and and I don't like that and it, then it starts looking like straw or Barbie doll hair or something and I don't like that so uh, this unit I was hoping was not going to be the case it's longer it's curly I haven't bought in like a long curly one. I mean, it's not long, long, but it's long enough um, and curly. And I haven't actually worn this one yet. So I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like out the pack. I tried it on. I cut off the lace just for my convenience so I could really see how it looked. Because I tried it on with the lace on and then I was like, yeah, I love this. So I'm going to cut off the lace. Now what I already initially liked about it is it feels really silky and soft, but if you can get up close to it, you're going to see that it has like a yakky texture, a light, very light, yakky, semi-silky texture. And the funny thing is the front looks pretty yakky. And then when I'm looking at the back, some of these curls look really silky, which is fine because you want the curls to be like defined. You want them to stay in. You want it to look nice. So, um, I'll show you the cap construction. Comb on the back. Adjustable straps. <laughs> um, the top part, we have a comb on either side with the flexi rods contouring in by the ear. And then you have one comb right by the parting. Okay? And this is the L part from here to here and then this comb is like supporting that part and then you still have the comb on this either side and the comb in the back okay and you can't really see the part that much only because I haven't done anything to it yet I haven't put powder in there concealer nothing because I haven't worn the wig I tried it on decided I liked it cut off the lace put it back on and was like yeah this is gonna be bomb so when I cut off the lace, I did try to make sure I grabbed any loose hairs that I cut so close to the perimeter just to make sure. And I wasn't getting any shedding. I'm just getting a dash when I'm running through. Not tangles, but you know, just a little resistance. Um, but my hands are just coming right out of there. And as you can see, the curls bounce right back. This is a very curly, soft unit. One of the things that I probably will use on this unit to maintain its fabulousness is my wig control spray you know sorry that lighting is killing it there you go um <clears throat> and this will just help you know keep it soft keep it from tangling and i'll probably just spray it on there before i actually wear it and like i said this is how the curls look straight out the pack all this bounce all this curl real soft and nice um I'm trying to see if I'm getting any like shedding. Just a little bit, a couple strands. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But um, not too much. I'm gonna put her on to kind of show you the style and the length. And I will say this cap is big head friendly because I haven't adjusted, did I just, no. I haven't adjusted the straps at all and it actually feels like loose like I can just like be on the move with it so obviously I'm gonna tighten the straps I don't really like to use the combs unless I have to and if anything I'm probably going to use my got to be glue gel and at least uh, glue down this front part here right where that lace is and there's not much lace in the front just a little bit which is just enough to actually lay it down basically and then you got your parting and I would absolutely need to go in let me see if I can grab it I dropped my uh, brush here 
I would need to go in with my Urban Decay Dark Neutral um, powder and fix this baby up. Now the thing is, right off the bat, I haven't done anything with it because I haven't worn it yet, but I might actually need to do a little tweezing up in there. If not, what I might attempt to do first is use my L'Oreal True Match. Um, I have it in a color cappuccino, N8. And what I would do is put this on the inside of the um, L parting and see how much it shows through. And that usually kind of tells me whether I need to actually tweeze it or not. If I can't barely see that showing through, then there's too much hair in that parting space. And I'm judging by the look of it right now, it looks like there's too much hair in the parting space. Like it's there, but it's not defined. You wouldn't be able to even see my skin really. Like it wouldn't matter what color cap I had underneath. So I'm probably gonna have to go in and fix that bad boy. But look at this unit, ladies, okay? look at this she is fabulous she is like doing the most for me I feel like she looks perky and fun and bouncy and like all about a night out type of look okay and the length it's not too too long okay I mean I'm five just under five two and that's how long it is on me so i think for most people it's going to be around this length um breast area and that's not a bad length for a curly unit you want a bit of a showstopper once in a while that's what you're going to go for but i like it i like the layers that are in it as you can see there's this nice layer right here that i think and I don't want to brush out my curls too much. I know a lot of people will get the unit and they'll brush it out to their liking and then the curls won't be as like all over. But I'm going to kind of leave them like that until I really decide how I want to wear the unit. And right now I haven't worn it. I'm not going to probably wear it anytime in the next week or two. So until then, then I'll figure out how I'm going to actually style it. But even this, like, I don't even have all the hair in the front. And this is a decent amount of hair. This looks like a unit in itself. And there's still all this back here, okay? So I really like the styling of it. If you could see the texture, like I was telling you, with the yakki in the front there, I would probably do just something like that, where I kind of swoop the bang back a little bit. Ooh, I think I got a hair in my eye. Okay. And, um... just like this you know and it doesn't take much where you really have to brush it out you can brush it out if you want to and i'm sure that's going to change the curl pattern completely the only thing i've done is my wide tooth comb and i'd probably just briefly do the combing i will say this though i did cut the lace the other day and i haven't worn it since but i am experiencing some experiencing some shedding here but when I cut the lace very close, I do usually experience shedding the first couple wears or so. But I usually, when I cut the lace really close, I'll go through and kind of do like a pull of all the perimeter hair to kind of get any loose ones that I cut or knots that I accidentally cut to kind of minimize what is actual shedding and what is me messing up, you know, the front of the lace a little bit. But this is the amount of hair that I've kind of already got. Maybe that's like six or seven strands that I gathered, but I can feel some just on my legs because I'm wearing shorts. But this is a pretty unit. And I wouldn't say this is like every day go away type of unit. I would probably use this, you know, when I really had something I really wanted to look nice for and I wanted to wear my hair a little extra special or I was going someplace fun. Unless, you know, you can also, I'm sure you're going to be able to get this in like a low ponytail or some sort of uh, possibly, uh, let's see, I can slay it back real quick for you guys. A little bit of a half up, half down look. Okay, you're going to be able to do something like that with this or even leave the bang forward a little bit. 
and still do a half up half down or an all one side type of twist if you twist the back out a little bit and put it all on one side and pin you're going to be able to do something with this unit and not just wear it as is right out the bag um, it'll be nice and I'm actually gonna go up with my wig control spray right now just to tame all the crazy that I just ran my fingers into you know and I'm just gonna finger comb that through I'm not going to grab my brush because like I said that's gonna change the dynamic of the hair in an instant the minute you put a thick brush through her and if that's how you want it to look that's fine but I'm really just going for this bouncy bouncy curl I got going on here okay so let me know what you guys think I know there's several reviews of Emmy that I've seen I believe what kind of drew me to this unit was um, her style had done a wig review on Emmy I'm feeling like she had her in another color I forget what color but I just thought okay that's the kind of curl I'm sort of looking for like how it looked before she had brushed out the unit and then I know what it's gonna look like once it's brushed out or once I kind of have to do some manipulation to it and I thought it was still gonna be something that I liked so let me know what you guys think I know if you were probably gonna rock this unit and wanted it to look natural the parting was gonna need some work and it will and I'll do that over time when I actually decide I'm really gonna wear the unit out somewhere let me know what you guys think of Miss Emmy